everybody, welcome to my usual me, and welcome back to Last Oasis. All right, guys, we have ground out some tablets. We're going to do some creation of some ceramic shards today. I have all the, the tablets I need right now, I think. I've got six celestial tablets, I've got three elements, and I've got one animal at, on me at the moment. So let's go ahead and let's go over here, and let's go to crafting. We're going to jump over from this, from campfire to solar excavator to the furnace that's going to cost me three there you go there's three element tablets right there and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go from the campfire to purified water to purification station to get the liquid fuel gel that's going to cost me six all righty guys we are in the hard zone let's go ahead and find ourselves an apple tree and we're going to go ahead and put down our soil excavator and then we're going to go get ourselves some ash we'll come back and we we'll put my torque in the in the machine and we're going to go ahead and we're going to start making ourselves some clay we're going to start harvesting some clay so we can get we can make our furnace i also want some clay so i can make some shards so i'm going to need a little extra hopefully i only have 547 torque on me right now i hope that's going to be enough i don't know if it is this is the first time i've ever done this so we're going to give it a, you know our the best uh try we can but the first and foremost thing we got to find is an apple tree so what I'm gonna do is see we're coming in on the on the west side. There's a base right there, and there's Don 14. He's a friend of ours. So and that's the Okay, big times here, huh? Alright, so let's find ourselves an apple tree. Doesn't really matter where I find it, so long as I can get back to it. Is that an apple tree right in front of me? That might be. We might be in luck, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this right here, right now. Right off the bat, we have ourselves an apple tree. That's nice. All right, I'm going to have to get a little bit of wood because I don't know if I brought any wood with me. But to make the soil excavator, guys. Ooh, and it's all covered and stuff, too. Looks like it's being... It's been... It's unmolested. All right. You don't want a molested tree? Let's go ahead and let's uh, chop this wood down right quick. I might have some wood on me. I don't know. All right. And then let's go ahead and I want to grab... We're going to open up our storage right quick. Oop. Let's open up our storage right quick. We'll grab this torque battery right here and this fiber weave we've got. You only need two fiber weaves. So, and you need one torque battery and I think 20 wood. So, I'm going to go ahead and go B. Go down to crafting. Drop down to the soil excavator. We're going to slap this down right here. Boom. There it is. All right, now she's running. Now I'm going to need to, to make clay. I'm going to need ash. So, and then we're going to put our torque in there. We get, okay, it's 30 torque for 30 seconds. So we're going to have, let's see, 300 torque for three minutes. So I'm going to have just not quite six minutes of, of clay production. So I don't know how much that's going to give me, but we're going to find out. If I have got to come back with more torque, I will come back with more torque. All right, let's go find ourselves the, we're going to go to the center of the island now, guys. Make sure that this is actually going to be showing up. It is, it's on the left-hand side here. On the west, we're going to be heading in, inland here because all in here is where we're going to find our ash. So it's going to be a little bit of a, a, a trek, but I'm going to go ahead and do that and, and we're going to get the ash we need and then I will be right back. All right, guys, we're here in the center. We got these bushes right here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to grab this for, um, for ash. I'm actually going to chuck a lot of the stuff I don't need. Well, actually, I'm pretty set on the stuff I, I need. I throw that away, throw that away. Uh, I'm going to throw that wood away. I don't need that anymore. All this stuff that we don't really care. I mean, I, I, I can use it in the future, but I don't really need it right now at this very second. So I need I need room more than I need anything else. Let's break out our sickle right quick. Scythe would probably be better, but that's what, a sickle's what I've got. We're going to collect all the ash we can off of these, these dead bushes. All righty, guys. i got a couple hundred in my inventory here, and in the storage, we've got another 800. So I've got, yeah, I've got a thousand ash right now. We're going to head back over and we're going to go ahead and make what we can in the way of clay. Then we're going to head back to the medium tile and I'm going to go ahead and make that furnace and we're going to cook ourselves up some ceramic shards. Alrighty guys, and here's our apple trees right here. I'm just going to go ahead and park the spider right here so I can get out of here really fast if I have to. Is there another walker right there? No, that's a ruin. Okay, good. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to slip just a little bit of this, this ash in here. We're going to see what it's going to take. Go ahead and go ahead and put in, uh, yeah, was it 200? Oh, I'm going to put 200, well, no. 234. Looks like we're going to be able to put quite a bit in here. Let's see what we can do. And 
Oh yeah, it'll hold a lot. All right, there's 1,034. I'm gonna pull out the 34 and we're gonna see what we can do here. Let's go ahead and queue up all the clay that we can. I'm gonna queue up, I don't know, 200? I don't think, I don't think I even need more than that. Maybe 300, that's fine. And then we're just gonna put all of this torque in here. Boop, and hit on and see what we can do. 3,004, 1,005. Yeah, it's about every 10 seconds we're making one clay. And I've got, and it's, it's gonna be, it's 30 torque every 30 seconds. So we have not just under 10 minutes right here. So we should be making, I don't know what we're going to make here, actually. All righty, guys. Looks like that's the tail ends of what we've got. We have seven torque left. I'm going to pull that seven torque out. I don't know why we're going to keep it where we are. And we have, we used 670, 670 ash. So to get this clay now out of the thousand that I brought. And out of that torque, we got ourselves a whopping 67. That means, you know, if I fill up both of my backpacks full of torque, I get bring 2,000 torque over. I'm going to get about 240 uh, clay. So we're going to go ahead and take that back. We're going to go ahead and make ourselves a forge. We won't be able to make many of these ceramic shards at all, I don't think. But we're going to see what we can make just as soon as we get back. All right, I'm going to head back. We're going to go ahead and uh, make the furnace. We're going to throw it either on the ship or in the base. Uh, I've heard a rumor that you don't need it on the ship to be able to actually make it work. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and see. I think the advanced furnace you need to have on your ship and it has to be moving, but the regular furnace you don't. So I might be able to just keep that in my base and we might just do that just to make things a little simpler on me so I don't clutter up my dinghy. Cause we're gonna be building a bigger boat here before you're too long. So I'm pretty excited about it, but I'm gonna need to have everything in my base for the moment. So let me go ahead and head over to the medium tile. We'll go ahead and get this uh, furnace put together and we'll see how many shards we can get. All right, guys, I got the uh, earth wax. Actually, one of my clan mates, actually, Nisha, he he handed it to me. He was like, yeah, man, just go ahead and take it. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Thanks, man. I'll get you back. So it was really nice. Awfully nice of him. We got our, we need wood shafts. We need ourselves some stone, and we need that clay. So let's grab the clay, the wood shafts. I don't think I want to use quality stone on this right now. I don't know if it makes a difference. I'll have to ask my clan mates about that and see if, uh, if that makes any difference. But I don't think it does. Um, it, I mean, it probably does when it makes the, the material, but uh, right now we're just going to go, I'm just going to build one from regular and just see what we get. So I need a little bit more stone, I need like 50 more stone. I know I've got it in here. I got everything scattered in here, guys. We just changed the base up a little bit. I know I don't have a roof on it. I know I need to have a roof on this thing. I will get a roof on it. Bear with me. Oh, that's 6140 stone. I don't want it that. I think I might just finish up getting the stone over here. All right, and if for some reason this is not going to work inside the base, we're going to go ahead and we'll put it on the on the boat. We'll put it on the dinghy. But for right now, I think we're just going to go ahead and put it. I think I'm going to put it right here. I think we're going to move this little guy over a little bit. Let's go ahead and let's go pack base right quick. And then we'll go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and we're going to move this fiber working station right here. Okay, I moved everything out of the way here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to see if we can place it right here now. Go ahead and rotate it. Yeah, we can. We put it as close. Put it right here, I think. If I can. There we go. We'll just see how close we can get it. And looks like that's it right there. All right. Now I can move everything else around, and we'll be able to move it all. Or we'll be able to get back into our boxes and whatnot. It'll take me just a second to do that. All right, guys. We're gonna go ahead and fire. We're gonna get this clay. We're gonna put 47 clay in here, and it says that one wood will last two seconds. Charcoal lasts 20 seconds. Liquid fuel lasts one minute. And Rupa Gel lasts one minute, 40 seconds. All right, guys. And I chose to go ahead and go with the liquid fuel gel or the liquid fuel because it lasts a minute a pop and it's not that hard to make. So what we're going to do, but to do that, I have to make the purification station. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to put this purification station right here. And we'll put it right, right, right in front of this, I think. Yeah, that way I can get around it, I think. I'll have to reorganize my base here in a minute, but that's all right for right now. So right here, guys, we're going to go ahead and make liquid, liquid fuel. It is five animal fat and one sulfur. So I've been collecting animal fat. Funny thing about animal fat, you can actually get animal fat from the pink animals if you use a pick when you kill or when you harvest them. The femkeys, the little, uh, the little pink cats. You, uh, if you use a hatchet, you're going to get hide, but if you use a pick, you're going to get animal fat. I got a bunch of animal fat just laying around. I got a, I got a, there we go. There it is. I've got 86 animal fat right now. Go ahead and just slap that in there. Let me go ahead and get some sulfur. 
Now I'm going to get my sulfur from mushrooms. Now, normally I wouldn't. Uh, I've been throwing away sulfur because it's so, so darn um, easy to get. Just attack your mushroom, and then when you get that, when the cloud goes up, look up and hit F for harvest, and you get a little extra sulfur. There it is. All right, we got 39 sulfur just from those few mushrooms. And these 121 mushrooms, I'm going to actually put them in the stomping station. We're actually going to turn those into earth wax. So I owe that guy the earth wax. And he loaned it to me so we can make this video a little bit quicker. So, yeah, thank you, Nisha, once again. All right, we're going here. We'll slap the, uh, that in there, and we'll go ding, 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 ding. I don't really need that many. It's going to take a minute to make this. Hopefully, it doesn't take a full minute to make it, because if it does, then I'm going to have to time it a little bit differently. But it looks like we're going to get, you know, a few out of this. I get, I'll get, uh, let's see, I'll get 16, looks like I'll get 16 um, fuel out of this, which is 16 minutes. Uh, it might take, from what I've been told, it takes about 15 minutes for this thing to warm up. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but we're going to find out. All right, you get five fuel at a time, guys. Five fuel at a time, which is amazing. Where'd it go? Did it drop it on the ground? Oh, I have to use a water bag for this, I guess. All right, guys, so we go ahead and just put the, uh, the fuel in here. We'll go ahead and do like this. Let's go ahead and turn her on. Oh, look at that, boy. It is a, just turning away. All right. Well, she's burning. It's working. The question is, is it going to work? I don't know. We're going to find out. I got 10 more here. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to just put this in here. Boop, like that. Well, that is just a big, fat, hello, here I am to everybody around you. That's for sure, for sure. You put it on your ship, it's the same way. Looks like it's going to take a long, long time. Production output output at this point. Wow, that's crazy. So I don't know how long it's going to take to uh, to do it. They said it'd take about 15 minutes. Fortunately, we're making five fuel at a pop. So uh, it shouldn't take me very long at all to, uh, to have enough fuel to do the job. I don't know how much this holds, but we're going to find out. So I guess if you want to make ceramic with charge or if down the road you want to make iron ingots, uh, you may need the advanced furnace for that. I don't know. Let me see. Do we need the advanced furnace for, for iron ingots? Yeah, because you can't. So you make sh ceramic shards and tar in the furnace, and you make, you make uh, glass and iron ingots in the, uh, in the advanced furnace. Now, the advanced furnace you have to have on a walker. But this one, uh, it says it can only be achieved on a moving walker. But uh, people are telling me that right now we're able to do it here. Now, you may not be able to use this on a base later on. So if you can do it now, if we can do this now, uh, be aware that it might not be that way in the future. This may not be working as intended. So, yeah. What's up, Milton? How you doing? I mean, Nisha. Sorry, Nisha. Dude, that's the right uh, Do you need any um, sulfur or... Mushroom, like level 20 sulfur, level 20 mushrooms. Nope. Charcoal, Th think I'm good. Thanks, though. I got, I'm making fuel, and, and I'm using the fuel. So it's going to take about another uh, 10, 12 minutes before this thing starts producing. But, yeah, I should be good. Okay, well, I'm going to keep killing trees. Got too many things to build. Right on, man. If you see anything moving my way, holler, will you? Yeah, will do. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Now, just out of curiosity, I wonder if I can put a roof on this and, and this smoke not not show. Let's go ahead and see if we can put a roof on this. Left. Oh, you can put a roof on it. Is it? But it doesn't cause the smoke to not be seen. So yeah, that's something we got to be aware of. Uh, and I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go ahead and make a foundation and move this torque battery out of here. I mean, this uh, this windmill out of here. Okay, guys. So we are in the middle of making ceramic shards. Before this runs out. I want to go ahead and see, because it did take about 15 minutes to get started, and now it's making it, you know, like one every couple of seconds here, about every five seconds, 10 seconds, making a, an, another shard. So what I'd like to know is I want to see if when I put this base away, will it restart itself or will it continue on? Pack the base away. 
and let's put it back down and see if it put it in stasis because if it put it in stasis and this thing still is working then we're in business and I can get nope it didn't it went out oh it went out yeah so yeah you can't yeah it went out so I got to take this back out and put it back in then and we're waiting for that to stop is it gonna start again okay so it just completely stopped on me let's go ahead and let's pull everything out right quick because it's looking like I'm at to restart I'm going to drop this water and grab that. Grab that. All right, so we're going to have to restart it each and every time, which is fine. I just wanted to test it to see if you, if maybe it would just put it in stasis because all the other stations will continue to work. You know what I mean? Like the thump, you know, the stomping station, the you know, all these stations, they continue to work when you pull them out if you have something queued up. It's not the case with the furnace, so that's fine. So that was just going to take another 15 minutes to get going. That was 15 minutes worth of fuel that I that I I didn't waste it because we te we're testing, right? I didn't waste it, so it was just a test. So, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to go ahead and pull all this stuff out right quick. Actually, I'm going to turn that off, and hopefully that doesn't waste the uh, the rest of that fuel. Can I not pull this clay out? I can't pull the clay out for some reason. Well, I can put the base away and it'll turn everything off and it'll reset it. I also have 25 more fuel here. I've run out of animal fat, but I've got another 25 minutes of fuel in the uh, in the purifier, purification station. So that's super good stuff. Okay, guys. Well, we learned a lot today about this about this furnace, and I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, you're, I'm not going to be able to make ingots out of it. I need 25. Is it 25 more tablets? I need 25 tablets before I can get to the advanced furnace, right? Yeah. 25 tablets of the same kind that's going to get me it's going to be a, a minute before i can get that going but i need 100 ceramic shards to do it too that's easy now now that i know how to do it it's not that hard at all but then i'm going to be able to make glass we're going to be able to make iron ingots that's super exciting stuff i what's this quarry going to do for me do for me oh i need 50 iron ingots for it so i can't do that either so i kind of need this advanced furnace to do anything else uh the water condenser we might check out actually that's 32 tablets i don't know if I, i'm going to be able to do that before i do the um advanced furnace all right guys so what it boils down to if you want to make ceramic shards it's guaranteed all of this right here you're going to need the, the soil extractor so you, or excavator so you can get the uh, the clay you're going to need to get clay you're going to need the furnace you're going to need the purification station you're going to need the liquid jet fuel but that also means you need to, to get the purified water obviously you've gotten the campfire already and oh you're also going to need the torque windmill so you can get torque um Assuming that you're not going to be getting it out of your own ship. And then you also are going to need the torque battery, which is over here. So you can hold that torque and you can make your excavator as well because your excavator is going to take a torque battery as well. Fortunately, this is fairly uh, cheap. It's two fiber weave, 20 wood, one torque battery. The torque battery is eight earth wax, four rope, and six bone splinters. Really super easy, super cheap. So yeah, I mean, there's a lot of components that go into making ceramic, but it's super easy to do, and it just takes a long time once you get this going. Now I can't, I don't know why it's not letting me pull that out. Let me, all right, to pull this. If I turn this off, can I then pull it out? I can, and I can take the clay out. I can't take the clay out for whatever reason. Don't know what that's all about. But I do have 32 shards. That's going to be enough for me to get a pick and a hatchet. I already know that. Which is what you're going for anyway, right? Right off the bat, so you can get better quality materials. That's under equipment. That's going to be the advanced pickaxe and also the advanced hatchet, which is what I'm going for right now. The master pickaxe is going to be amazing when I get it. That's iron ingots, however, so I don't need to worry about that right now. And also the Niberian hand axe. What? Whoa, that's really cool. That's where that. Those are those are tier five tools, guys. That's where you're, where you're going to get your quality 100 uh, materials from. If you can find any, uh, that is. Because people be grabbing quality materials before they can be matured because they don't know what they're, they're looking at. They don't know what they're doing. Alrighty, guys. And if you made it this far into the video, I'll let you know that you can farm yellow rupus for ceramic shards on the hard zone. They have about 500 health and they drop one ceramic shard a piece. So that's more up your alley. There you go. There's another way you can get ceramic shards. But 
if you like this video, if it was information to you and you enjoyed it, well, thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, if you're looking for a home, our clan is always looking for new people. So go ahead and go all the way down to the bottom of the description and click that second Discord button. The first one's mine. The second one is the clan's. And a recruitment officer would be more than happy to help you. But if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you. And we will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.